that I will be reading while I'm on my mini vacay is Midori by Moonlight. And it is about this Japanese woman who is really independent. She feels like a stranger in her homeland of Japan. And basically, after this American English teacher proposes to her, she's like more than excited to marry him. They come back to the United States. He turns around and he dumps her for his uh, blonde ex-girlfriend uh, that Midori had no idea even existed. And because, you know, she does, she knows very little English. She's, her, limp, her visa is limited. She has limited cash. She doesn't want to tell her parents that she's been played to the left. So she tries to go it alone in her, um, to live her American dream. And my, as far as I'm concerned, it's like, first of all, you always need to have your own. You don't just come blind into any kind of situation or relationship or anything like that and expect someone to take care of you or trust that someone is going to take care of you. Just, oh, just in case, you have to have your own and you have to be able to sustain and, um, you know, on your own. And... <clears throat> But here this guy then got her caught up in a trick bag. Trick no good. get some fried fish I don't know what kind um, I just love fish and shrimp seafood in general but I don't know if I'm gonna get catfish or red snapper tilapia is just okay I'm also gonna make a stop at the beauty supply store because I am in the mood to shop for products products I don't need but there are a couple that I want to try went to the one seafood place I called them and I wasn't getting an answer and I figured okay they probably aren't open yet so I happened to be in the vicinity anyway so I decided I'm just gonna go in and um, you know go over there and see if they're open and they they were open so I walked in the door made this alarm sound so that they know that somebody's in there now I gave them maybe two three minutes that's a long time considering there are no other customers in there you I can hear you guys in the back and I know you heard me come in and your sign says open I left went to another store and I said, well, there's another seafood restaurant down the street. So I'm going to call and place my order. Well, that line kept being busy. And I didn't know if there was something wrong with their phone lines or if, you know, someone else was trying to call at the same time. So I said, okay, I'm going to try this place again since I am sitting in the parking lot. Do you know, I called. To place the order and she said oh you gonna have to call me back in five minutes okay who does that in business like who does that like what why is it acceptable for you not to give good service like we're not friends I'm not you're not my auntie or somebody that I know you could even at least apologize for the inconvenience, anything. But you're going to tell me you're going to have to call me back in about five minutes, okay? You guys are open. Like, five minutes? You can't take my order? Anyway, called the other place, placed my order, so I'm going to get it from there. But these people are on thin ice. There are a lot of restaurants around here and there there's a lot of competition so i'm just saying you guys got to get your acts together because who does that
tell y'all that the doctor said that I lost 15 pounds. Yes, I'm so excited. And I've been intermittent fasting for over a year now. And the whole purpose is, to, it's, it's supposed to help you better take in less calories because you have a shorter eating window. But if you're eating two or three things, for example, and they're not, you know, they have a high caloric value, then you're defeating the purpose if you're trying to lose weight. Anyway, um, I had reduced my caloric intake, and that's what helped me with the 15 pounds. Now, there's so much more that goes into the intermittent fasting, and there are lots of other um, YouTubers who do it, and some of them seem to be pretty much experts at it. So, uh, I'll link something down below that way you can kind of get an idea of how it goes I guess I'm gonna go in here and pick up my order I have my hair in a bun and I am wrapped I mean it is kind of warm outside but you know how that pneumonia weather where it's warm when it's really supposed to be super cold so we have rain instead of snow and I'm like no trick no good and I am wrapped to the gods, okay? Anybody playing out here? Anybody got time for all that? I'm taking my vitamins every day. I'm eating my vegetables on a regular basis. I am drinking my water, honey. I'm doing the best I can. And I'm spraying everything with disinfectant. Huh. Okay. I am a I love eyewear if you caught my 50 random facts tag video you'll see that I love reading glasses and um, <laughs> yeah anyway I love shades just the same if not more I was rocking a lot of shades before I had to start wearing readers so I decided <laughs> again along with my quest to live simply I had to get rid of a lot of my shades, but and I told myself the shades that I keep, I'm going to keep in the car. I will not be able to keep all the shades in the vehicle. But as you can see, this is a cute pair. One of my dearest friends sent me this pair. This is these are Brighton shades. I really like their eyewear. There's another pair of Brighton. And and this is a nice dainty pair of Brighton shades. I can't just count just one, and I'm going to show you the others that I kept in the in the house. Okay, and these are XOXO. I got these from like TJ Maxx or Marshalls a few years back, but I think they are just hot, you know, with the little studs all the way around. So it keeps me looking young. And then I have these my dad got me. These are actually for uh, glare. Like when it's raining or something like that. And it's dingy out. You can put these on and it'll make the street brighter. And I think you're supposed to be able to wear these at night. They don't work at night. I understand they try to make things brighter in case you can't see. But that it doesn't work. So let me take you inside so I can show you my other shades. Okay, now we're inside, and I know I'm supposed to show you my favorite shades, but I cannot just pick one. I like them all for different reasons. I love them. Um, I did go through them, and I have a bag that I'm getting rid of. Just, again, because I am trying to purge my life. Alright, so, another pair of Brightons. I like these because they have, like, a slight... I don't know if you can see that. That slight rose color eh, tint. The lighting is kind of off in here. And they, they're leather on the sides. I've never worn these, but these are like my winter shades. Imagine, you know, your hair pulled back and you have on like a fur hat and it's snowing out. Yeah. Because it's too hot, I will not wear those in the summertime because, uh-uh, 
these i love they have stood the test of time they have been all in the car they've been down in my purse and they're still good as new they are perfect still thank the lord i haven't worn them in a couple of years because i said give them a rest why don't you never wore these i actually this is the latest to the um bunch i actually just got these maybe a month or two ago obvious reasons why i have them aren't they cute i love these because they look beautiful um when i'm rocking a gray big afro i would prefer like the benjamin franklin's which are a little bit smaller that just looks so much cooler but this is the next net uh next best thing then i have these i love these because of the detailing Am I supposed to do? I need to display them better, I guess. But the detailing on the sides with the pearls, I don't know. I just have a compulsion. Back in the day, I would go to TJ Maxx and uh, I wasn't going even going there for shades. But I would end up with all these shades for like a great price. You know, and the expensive brands. Another pair of Brightons. The one thing about Brighton, I mean, they're... The devil is in the details, and I mean that in a good way. I mean, they're lightweight, not overbearing on your face, and just the details are just always beautiful with this brand. Again, another pair of Brightons. Just very classy looking designs. <clears throat> I love these. These, I always say these are like my expensive looking shades too. I'm telling you, a pair of shades, a good pair of shades, make you look like you have all types of money. People don't know, right? They don't know. And then, of course, you got to walk with your head high. Woohoo, love these. Just because they're simple, yet they have a little decorative thing going. I thought these were J-Lo's, but I don't think so. But this is so J-Lo, in my opinion. And then the ones that I always keep the most protected are these. I haven't worn these in a few years. But I try to keep them protected so that the stones stay put. But they are just so fabulous. I mean, woohoo! Very fabulous. But I always keep them in the case. Alright guys, this is my collection let's see yours until the next video good night